So, selamat datang everyone. Habari aku. Ni hao. Ni hao. Wanakam. Annyeong. Ciao. Me, um, the first time I moved to the US, it was really hard for me. I mean, I was mostly the shy type because uh, I had never made friends who were international. I had always made friends who were Indians in general. I guess it's always a challenge for people to come to this country, stay and root themselves and grow outside of their comfort zone. When I first came um, during my orientation, first they were just international kids because it was an international orientation. And I found it not too easy to make friends because everyone was new to the country and everyone wanted to keep to themselves and people tended to stick to their certain culture and group. The longer time that you were stay with your group and the, long, the most likely that you will be insulated. It's all about breaking that first bubble. Like, you know, if you have that personal bubble, your comfort zone, the only way for you to um, to go, you know, to go out of that is just to go out of it. There's no way around it. I think it required a bit of patience and just letting things develop organically. Don't try and force that adjustment. Let it go smoothly. An adjustment takes time, and it's a natural process to sometimes feel a bit left out or, you know, detached from things that people like. But that's fine because we have our own different socializations from where we come from. I was really enjoying myself because that was the first time I've ever seen snow. And I was jumping around, I didn't wear proper clothing, and it was really hard for me to adapt to this place. In winter in my country, for us, a really co like the coldest you can get is maybe zero degrees Celsius, which is that is like really cold for us. So coming here and being at um, minus 18, it was, yeah, it was something different. So that's pretty much an, an awareness that I think international students, um, especially those who come from um, the tropical areas or the equator, should pay attention to at least. Buy yourself some really warm clothes. <laughs> um, when you're in a um, lecture, um, in which there will be at least 200 students or 100 students. Um, I think international students can get easily easily overwhelmed by you know the number of students in there. And what's more fascinating is that Americans they do not they're not afraid of asking questions. And this is what I think is um, something that should be highlighted in which international student, students should instill. Um, the habit of asking questions wherever you are in whatever circumstance. I realized from my first year that I should not have necessarily rushed into forming friends but let the friendships form organically. Um, that is don't feel pressured to go to events and stuff that you are not necessarily interested in because those kinds of friendships don't last long. East Lansing in general is a really safe place and you can just go out to people on the street and go talk to them, say hi. You go, you get onto the bus, you can just talk, start a conversation with the bus driver and they are really friendly, they are people, they don't mind, they won't say uh, stop talking to me, they, they aren't that kind of rude people. Another thing is to work with them, I think that's another way to adapt. You have to be with them, you, you have to be in a, you can join clubs if you want. Um, if you're not living in the dorms, you can join the club or you can work with them. That's how you're going to communicate and get adept with the environment. Most of my current native friends uh, I made are through the work on group studies and uh, like social activities. Join students' organizations and especially going on a trip with them and, and because I think it, during a trip is, um, people can actually get to know each other more. Go to the coffee hour, go to the other activities that OISS has to provide. And also, if you play sports, um, get involved with sports, IM sports or whatever, and 
try to make like a, a soccer team. I don't know what with Americans and all that. That's a, also a good way to interact with them. Say hello to American first because American people don't really know your culture or your background, so they are afraid of what you think if they say hello to you first. I think the first and most important tip I would say is um, to not be scared of them. Do not embarrass them when they talk to you. Like some people just come up to you and say, hey, how are you, you know? I think the biggest tip would be let your friendships develop organically. Don't be in a hurry. Um, meet people one at a time and don't feel the pressure to make too many friends because you want to form even few but lasting friendships and friendships that are valuable. And also remember that, you know, wherever you come from, you have friends already. So you're not desperate in a sense. You have family, you have already a support system and try and keep in touch with those friends that you have left too, even as you transition into new friendships because that will help you make good and solid friendships in America. Any international student, when you come up here, you have to come ready to accept new stuff because it's obviously not just culture-wise, but since we're entering a new age in our life, we're becoming adults, you have to get used, to get ready to try new stuff and make new friends, meet new people, and just enjoy yourself up here.